Everybody, thanks for joining me today. We are going to talk about headsets and we're going to hopefully install this one on the bike. So, a headset. What it does is it helps to attach your fork onto the frame. Uh, it consists of an upper section and a lower section and let's talk about those individually. In the lower section we have our cup. Uh, this is the portion that gets pressed into the frame. Uh, on the frame that we have today, this is already installed. There's really no reason to remove this unless you're uh, having to swap it to another bike, so we're not really going to worry too much about this. Uh, the important thing to note is that this is a zero stack headset, which means that the uh, bearings are housed inside the frame portion, and there's very little of this that's actually exposed. Uh, just this flange right here is the only part that's exposed to the outside of the bike. Um, this is the lower headset bearing. Now this is an inch and a half inner diameter uh, because this is a tapered headset which is typical on most mountain bikes and is, a, is present on all the trances. Uh, and as you can see it consists of an outer race and an inner race just like the bearings that we talked about in the previous uh, pivot bearing video. But it has a tapered edge here on the outer race and a tapered edge here on the inner race on the opposite side. Now this inner race is what's going to be facing down towards the fork and the upper race is going to be uh, seated inside this bearing cup. And as you can see in the cup it has a matching taper right there. Uh, the last piece of the lower system is the crown race. Now this particular one uh, is designed to fit a tapered system but this crown race is a smaller diameter uh, specifically for uh, straight steer tubes like you would find on the giant talon. Uh, if you had a older fork maybe that you wanted to install in here, that's for the straight uh, inch and an eighth steer tube. Uh, and this piece gets pressed onto the fork. Moving on to the upper headset assembly, we have our cup, our bearing cup. Um, this is the part that gets pressed into the frame. Uh, just like the lower one and again just like the lower one this is a zero stack uh, this one is 44 millimeters so it's 44 millimeters on top 56 millimeters on bottom but this is a zero stack which means the bearings are, fit inside the frame and there's only this flange showing from outside the frame uh, the bearing is just like the one on the bottom except much smaller this one has an inner diameter of inch and an eighth uh, which is what's standard for the uh, upper uh, on most bikes. And uh, this one again has an outer edge that's tapered and an inner that's tapered and they're tapered on opposite sides. So the outer one is going to go into the cup and the inner one is going to go up towards the handlebars. Um, next up we have this compression washer. Um, this you can see has a little split in it. Um, this contacts the flange on the inside, the taper on the inside, and it when it when it gets uh, pressed in, it tightens up and helps to make a good connection between that inner race and the steer tube. And last, we have the the top of it, the 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 ceiling unit, and this has a nice little rubber seal on it. And then this part is all solid. And this is what actually presses against this. And then above this, you'll have all of your headset spacers and your um, stem. Just like on most of the other bearings that we've been pressing in, we want to make sure we put a little bit of grease on all the contacting surfaces. And again, this is not so much in this particular case to lubricate it, as it is to help protect against water damage. So we're going to put some on the bearing cups themselves where they contact the bearing and we're going to put some on the fork along this crown race. Now this video does not contain installation of the crown race because it's already installed. We, uh, we didn't do a, uh, this isn't a scratch build, this is a uh, um, reassemble. Um, so um, we just took it all apart to service it and this uh, crown race just stayed on there. It's pressed on. It's a pain to get off. 
Uh, also, if you look here, there's a star nut that has also just stayed in there. Um, I'll have another video up coming out soon uh, on how to install a brand new fork from scratch. And put a little bit of grease on this upper little split compression plug as well. Now we're going to install the fork. We talked about our bearings before. It's got a tapered portion on the inside and a tapered portion on the outside. The inside taper is going to contact that bearing race and it should turn very, very well. And then we put that right inside. And then for the upper assembly, we drop in our upper bearing. And again, this has a taper on the top or should I say a taper on the outside and the inside. Uh, the taper that's on the outside is going to go towards the frame. Then we put our compression washer or compression spacer. And then we put our top cap here. Next up we have to put a couple of spacers and our stem. As you can see here, there is a little, very, very small gap between the top of the steer tube and the top of this stem. And what the purpose of that gap is, is we are going to screw this bolt into this top of the steer tube. Yep. And so what we have here is we have the bolt contacting the steer tube itself and the cap contacting the stem and when we tighten this it pulls the whole thing together and preloads these bearings and helps to take any kind of play out so after you install this you should move it back and forth and feel if uh, if it's got any kind of wobble to it and if it doesn't then we can just tighten up the clamp bolts on the stem And then all we have to do is put the finishing touch on. That's it. Now we have our fork and our headset installed. Uh, we will have to make a couple of adjustments on this once we get the handlebars on. But for the time being, everything's great. All right, everybody, there you have it. The headset and the fork on the stem are installed. Uh, we will have to make some more adjustments to this later, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, in the meantime, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if there's anything in particular that you would like to see a video about, please leave it in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching.